hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video if you're new here my name is Mohammed, and we are doing uh, training or preparation for elastic certified analyst exam and uh, in today uh, video or topic we will start with analyzing uh, data and uh, we will talk about uh, this point uh, answer questions about a given data using uh, search and the visualization so during the exam and also during your work you will <coughs> you will be asked to uh, show something right uh, you will have a specific scenario where they ask you to show uh, something from uh, discover from uh, the search and uh, save it to use it later in your dashboard or to share it with uh, with other team members or during the exam to uh, to answer a specific scenario um, to answer the question there is two ways or uh, in this point there is two ways uh, the first one is using the uh, the search and the second one is using the visualization for this reason i have prepared uh, or there is two uh, questions um, uh, that we will implement so the first one is uh, show the uh, the male gender that based on new york and bought men's shoes this is the first so you can stop the video here and try to solve <coughs> this scenario or this question on your uh, own or on your environment and uh, after that you can see the response so to do so um, so here we will go to our discover here in Kibana and we will choose the right index so where this uh, uh, where is it? this one so the this is for the e-commerce right and so I have to go to the e-commerce here and for the e-commerce if you open the e-commerce here you will find the um the fields here so um so the gender it will be this one customer gender and uh, for the sorry for the location it will be this one uh goip city name new york and uh, for the um uh, for the product uh, type or uh, category it's is this men's shoes so this is the first thing that i do and after that i have to create my filter so we saw previously how we can create a filter so even we go from here from K kqr for example and put uh, the for example customer 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 gender like this and you give a you give a value and uh, don't forget to update <coughs> to refresh the the search right this is one this is the first thing this is just a reminder how to create a filter the other way is like from here you have this plus you put the the field that you want to use you type it from here the operation is and here you select the value and you save when you create filter it's automatically update you don't need to refresh and the easiest way is from here so you see plus and minus if you want to filter in or filter out you have the plus and you click and you will filter uh, filter in so this is the first thing so we have mail the second filter i will do it as the uh, the last uh, one is just from here uh, it's easy to uh, to create a filter so it's like this i create i i, uh, I filter based on the um, uh, New York and here I, I can see we have two we have men shoes and men clothes so this is two values if I cre if I click on the plus it will create two uh, filters but in our scenario they said it's just men's shoes mean this one I have to remove it so you don't forget this point or uh, you you can create it from here directly so if you want to put only one uh, value you can come here product sorry product category is and here you put uh, you put the value here right so you put so I will go with product uh, category dot keyword like uh, I choose keyword to show me the uh, the proposition here directly so I will choose men's choose and here we go you have the um, um, you have the filter and you have everything so once you answer the question so this this is how it will 
uh, be the scenario. It's not exactly the same. It's it can be something related to let's say data flight or uh, other uh, fee or other uh, other data view. Let's say for example here they will ask you for example here to um, um, to filter the uh, uh, the flights that are coming from uh, or the destination country is US and I don't know flight delay minute or uh, let's choose something else um, um, this for example original country this one for example so you will create a filter based on US and um, original city I just I'm just I'll just choose so it's, it's not something like this once you finish you are responding so again uh, the other uh, important point is the time range they said for the last seven days for the last two days for example here it will be for the last seven days so if you reply for the first part and you forget uh, the second which is the time range which is last seven days here you are missing something so you have to make sure that you are uh, doing everything correctly so let's return back to our filter or to our uh, data view and we'll go to uh, 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 to our uh, add our fields so it's customer gender and we said uh, city city and we said men's shoes right so this like this so it's i will filter based on the mail on the new york city and here for the i will do it here not men's clothing but men's shoes like this and we said for the last seven days it will be uh, like this you have quick filter here so as you can see i have nothing here i have to add more time right so here i have here i have so I will change the question here to so our last 30 day. Here we go. So here you finish, you make sure that you save. So it will be topic 3.1, for example, give it a tag to use it later, save. Once you finish, go to discover again and click on open and go to topic 3.1 so this is the one so it's just to make sure that you are um, saving it correctly and you have the right information here we go this is the first part of the uh, of this topic or of this point the second one is create a visualization to answer uh, a question so uh, here I want to open uh, a bracket here so when they said create visualization we have learned in the past videos that we uh, have to type to create a visualization right so we have lens or we we create aggregation based so here if they did not specify if they did not say use the aggregation or use the lens feel free to use the one that you are more comfortable with the easiest for you so choose whatever you want but if they said use aggregation based visualization you have to go with aggregation if they said lens you have to go with the lens so keep this in in mind if it is open question like this create a visualization and they did not specify anything choose whatever it works for you right uh, the the most important thing is you answer the question and you give the right uh, information in your visualization all right um so now to uh, to jump to the second part of the uh, of this topic where we create a visualization uh, the scenario is uh, create a donut where you show the top five destination countries um so logically this is the data view of uh, flights so you have to choose the right one so it's flights uh, during the exam um, they will help you with the uh, data view or it will be easy to know which data view uh, you're gonna choose so here data flight or this is destination countries mean it's uh, it's a flight so it's easy so you come here you have two ways even you search manually for the field or you come here and search for for the right um, uh, the, the right the right field from here so you click and here you have um you have the destination countries now to create visualization um again you know how to do that even you go from uh, here and go to lens or if you click on the field here like this if you click and you go down you, you see visualize this will redirect you automatically to uh, lens and will create a visualization for this for this field so if we uh, want to change so we already have 
uh, suggestion. If you did not see the type that you asked to create from here directly in, in the suggestions part, you can click here and you go all the way down and you see uh, donuts or pie or whatever you want. So here they said the top five, but here we, we see a six. Um, so I have <coughs> to remove these others. So how to uh, remove it? So easy, you click here in advance and you disable this one. And here we go. You have um, the country, US, Italy, Japan, Canada, and China. You have this, uh, these values, right? Um, uh, again, uh, the time range is important. It's la last 30 days, last uh, week, last 24 hours. It depends on the scenarios, depends on the question. So uh, make sure that you save it uh, with the correct time, time range. So this is a, a topic topic 3.1.1 for example i will put it in uh, none and here give a tag so you save your visualization so you make sure that you save it correctly so you come here and you see it's, this is the name topic 3.1.1 and here you have it so if you want to create the same using uh, aggregation so again it doesn't matter if you use lens or aggregation based only when they ask ask uh, open question like this create visualization but i will also do the same example for uh, aggregation based visualization so it's it's here create visualization aggregation based and we go to pi or donuts and we choose the uh, flights uh, yes this is the uh, data view so i will create uh, uh, slice for this donut so it's term aggregation and here i will go with destination country like this this is top five and we we'll click and here we go you have uh you have the uh the visualization so again you make sure that you save it topic 3.1.1 aggregation based none Boom, give it a tag and save. Here we go. If you want to go, this is the uh, this is the one. So here we go. You have your aggregation, you have your visualization. You save and um, uh, you make sure that you save the, uh, uh, the visualization with the right information and the right details here, right? Uh, with that being said, uh, we, we come to the end of this video. We'll see you in the next topic.